Another crane. Over here, you forgot something. <laughs> Can't believe we missed this. Whatever you need. more to discuss? Let's see. Frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. Freya, you were speaking of your brother after he was burned by the Hinsil mob. Yes. It haunted him for a long time. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but I do understand where his anger came from. Bloody <laughs> 
Before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort from his death. They're still scared. Not of the Raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Yes. Good girls. up another trail. Keep following their heads. Abandoned camp. Whoever was here left long ago. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Do they match the ones in that recipe book you found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Amir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason. 
who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Old. We will finish later. remember anything about what Dream Two of a stonemason's son said to you after building Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the Queen. Hang on, brother. That building! How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. Take it off, man! You got this! Come on! Blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. Brother, your fight with Thor must have scattered pieces of Tyr's statue all over the lake. It looks like the shield ended up lodged here. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. You can brute force it. Oh! 
there, when we returned to your story of Fiendthor, you said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the Mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this Mason, this giant in disguise. His name was Hrimthur. He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. Let this wait. Stay alert. So, Freya, if we might finish your story? Finthor revealed to you he wanted revenge on the Aesir for killing his father. Yes, he did. Set that aside for now. Come. That's part of Tyr's statue. <laughs> This is the place. <laughs> we need to work our way up. This way. way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls? <laughs> no. I think the water is <laughs> good. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. <laughs> did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother.
I feel something. It's stronger this time. <laughs> Over here. Open up. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Go! 
Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Winded know it all, and I cannot change. Me? You forgot, smartest man alive. Well, 
certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? Another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere.
This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How, how very dare you? Babbling. He's 
Test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? 
You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's...